Hello, today's video is about the Crow Model, which in the coaching world is probably the most famous model um, in use. And it's one that I use a lot on coaching skills training, um, particularly on introductory programmes, because it's a very easy model to um, get your head around. Um, it's very easy to keep in mind through a coaching session, and it actually does give give quite a lot of structure. There are other coaching models out there, but this is the one that, that most people know and love and are more comfortable using. So a brief outline of what actually the coaching model of GROW is all about. Um, you will see it in textbooks in a variety of different ways, and essentially the GROW is, is the G-R-O-W, but sometimes you will see it called the T-GROW model or the I-GROW model. And that's essentially because the first stage of the process when you are coaching somebody is really to discover what the issue or topic is at hand um, that they want to talk about on the coaching session. So that could be the issue, could be the topic, and that's where the I and the T come from. And essentially you're trying to find out what is it in a nutshell that people want to talk about on the session. The next stage when you are following the GROW model is actually to ask people what do they actually want from the session itself, which is trying to find out what the goal of the session is. Now it's important to make sure that that goal is stated in positive terms rather than negative terms. So for instance, it may be more about wanting to be much healthier and fitter rather than to lose weight. Um, and it's obviously much more focused on what you want to actually get out of the coaching session rather than a long-term goal. So a long-term goal may be to lose three stone, but the goal of the session may actually be quite different. The goal of the session may be actually just to have some strategies and some techniques and some tools to actually start the process of thinking about how to actually go about losing, losing three stone. The reality section is essentially what's actually going on here, what's happening, what have you tried already, what's worked, what hasn't worked. So in the example of somebody trying to lose weight, what sort of diets have they tried before, what has worked for them, what hasn't, and what sort of insight do they have on why some of the things that they've tried have not actually worked. Um, the next stage in the GROW model is O for options, and it's thinking about what options um, they might have and thinking about what sort of things that they can do. And the key thing there is not to just stick with one, because the first one, obvious one, might be something that they've tried already or something that actually doesn't excite them or motivate them. So helping them to do some creative thinking, opening out some options could be the best thing that a coach could do at that sort of stage. Now sometimes when you are talking about the reality of the situation and looking at some of the options, sometimes that helps people to assess that actually they, they've got a different goal. The goal may be different than what they first espoused right at the beginning. And that's okay because you can go back to that and reassess it and say, okay, we're so far into our coaching session now, however, is the goal that we originally set still the goal that we want it to, to go with? And in our example, with the person trying to lose weight, they may decide that actually the goal is more about improving their fitness and getting some strategies together for um, increasing their exercise as opposed to changing the way they eat, which might have been their original goal. The final section of the GROW model is sometimes the one that's really quite um, uh, quick and quite task focused. It's, it's quite right, what we're going to do next, what's going to happen, when are you going to do it, what support, support do you need, um, and the coach can perhaps really, really get the person to, person to focus. So a lot of, of talking, thinking, insights and awareness in this sort of section. The way forward section is really, okay, what, what sort of will do they have here to take it forward, to actually do the things that they've thought about? Where's their motivation? What will they do? Um, and the coach can really focus the person down on this. 
um, and get some time scales on it, get some follow up, get some thinking about who might help them to support this to make sure that it, it, it really happens. So in a very quick nutshell, that is the world famous grow model from coaching.